Hello everyone, and welcome to my video new survival game, Humanit Z. Thank you Freedom Games and Yodub Studios for the key. The game was released recently in Early Access. From my playtime, I can tell the game has a lot of potential and sure is fun even if I play alone. Humanity Z is a new co-op isometric open world survival game. You can play the game as a single player offline or online with friends. There is also an option to join some random public hosts. PvP currently works if friendly fire is enabled, but they have announced plans for dedicated servers and full PvP settings. We can explore a 16 square kilometer map in an unforgiving world with a dynamic weather system during seasons. Loot and density of enemies is balanced if played with standard settings. If you need, both of them can be fine-tuned in settings at the start of a new world. There is also an option for permadeath setting if you wish a hardcore experience. When you start a new world, you can choose your spawn point on the map. Later on, you can build a structure to set the spawn point anywhere you want. Keep in mind though, the respawn point will disable loot respawn in that area. The gameplay loop is explore, fight, loot, build, survive. The game is very rewarding if you explore and scavenge all spots. Once you get a bigger backpack, inventory management gets easy. We also have access to drive some of the cars on map, if repair them and provide fuel. Later on, can craft your own fuel with alcohol and oil at the distiller. All cars have extra storage slots too. Even though it is fun to bump into zombies with the cars, they are more valuable for faster travel because the map is quite big. A nice quality of life in game is the possibility to place on the map all sort of markers for easier tracking locations. Now to the things I enjoyed most in the game. Very good ambience and graphics. The combat has good sound effects and is visually appealing with gunplay being most satisfying. Melee Instant Kill Tackle is one of my favorite animations, although it is only viable against solo targets. You can fight a variety of zombies, either agile ones, explosive, resistant, toxic, and others. But also, you will see later on, there are some hostile NPC humans roaming around, bandits that will shoot you on sight. You can encounter hostile bandits trying to kill you. They are most of the time in groups and will gun you down if you meet them unprepared. If you do not play permadeath hardcore settings, the game will let you respawn on death. You can select any of the starting spawn points or the spawn point you built. You can build anywhere on the map a spawn point, pretty easy, with just two scrap metal. 
There is also a trader-friendly NPC that you can meet randomly or even call it later on. You can barter any of your items in exchange for his. Game offers wildlife hunting for food crafting too. There is a simple process of gathering or even farming, crafting and building for survival. Even though the game is in early access, there are already plenty of options for buildings and crafting. They also stated the game is actively developed and new features will be added on the way. Actually, a new patch just did go live today while I was editing this video. We'll show all the patch notes with the new features or changes at the end of the video. Besides choosing an employment at the start of the game that provides different advantages, there is also an XP leveling system with skill points as reward, various skills with benefits for combat, surviving, or world. The character menu has a tracking stats page and challenges, plus the option of simple inventory crafting for basic items. The vitals in the game have simplified mechanics. Micromanaging is comfortable, not tedious or stressful. Four vitals that need to be taken care of, health, hunger, thirst, and stamina. All systems are not overwhelming, but they are punishing if you disregard them. Overall, the game does a good job creating an apocalyptic feel and forces you to be picky with your fights, as you can easily get downed or struggle to death if you choose to fight with the wrong crowd in a bad spot. As mentioned earlier, the game just got a fresh patch today. I'll briefly show the notes, and if you consider the game fun, I recommend to join their Discord if you want to learn more about the game or give feedback. I have seen on their Discord amazing communication from developers. They are incredibly active and friendly. You can find the game official Discord link on the Steam page of Humanit Z. Thank you for watching and for support.